Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, we kind of have a very deep and serious topic to discuss today. And this is not no messing around. This is very serious and will affect almost every server on Minecraft Bedrock. So what is going on? Recently, there has been a push on the new uh, update for like the preview version of Minecraft. What happened is the developers decided to remove a file called PDB. You might not know what this means, and it's a being a term thrown around in the community as a whole if you're in any Discord on Minecraft. But I wanted to create this video to tell you guys what is going on and what you can do to change and give your support to fixing this issue and how we can change and come together as a community as a whole to give us back PDB access. So let's discuss what is going on. Okay, so recently in a recent push to the preview version of Minecraft Bedrock, the Microsoft team decided to remove a file called PDB. PDB is a documentation file which allows us to understand how the Minecraft how Minecraft itself works on a fundamental level and allows us to create hooking points or points that we can change or disable certain features of Minecraft. And this is very important because almost every server you play does this. Without this kind of access, our servers are completely destroyed. We might be able to run, you know, a, a realm kind of thing, but there's no way we would be able to support, you know, hundreds of players at a time because we have to worry about exploits. We have to worry about people crashing the server. We have to worry about people hacking on the server. And without PDB access, you can't do any of that. Additionally, all the plugins you've come to know and love do not work. They will not work if we don't have PDB access because we can no longer have hooking points or quote unquote points to change kind of how the game works. So without these kind of features, none of the servers you play will exist. So this is very important. We are at almost the tipping point, maybe in like a few 10 days or uh, 20 days after the release of this video, you might see the end of Minecraft Bedrock servers if whatever happens in this video doesn't go through. But basically, to change this, and we have actually had a group and a whole community on Minecraft Bedrock come together to change this topic. A lot of people have come together and they have created a new poll on uh, Minecraft's official website. So we can change that over and you can let's go check that out. So over here on the request to continue providing PDB files in future BDS versions. There, this started on, I think, Saturday, uh, oh, Sunday, Sunday at 1040, actually. So literally, we are very quick into this discussion because this is such a big issue. If we do not change this and if we do not get uh, this stuff done, it is going to change Minecraft Bedrock forever. So it is very important that you understand and to share this video with at most people you know who play Minecraft. So let's look through what's happening. Uh, Dear Mojang Studios, they're writing the PDB has a crucial for debugging and maintaining plugin loaders that enhance the BDS experience. I'm not going to read all this, but you can go read this uh, when you go back in. And the lack of PDB files hinders the ability to debug and update the plugin's loaders, which could result in server closures and negatively affect the player community. This is very deep. We urge the BDS development team to reconsider the removal of PDB files. Maintaining these files is vital for the continued health and growth of the Minecraft Bedrock server, dedicated server community. We hope to find a solution that addresses security while supporting development. So uh, we do think that there is a reason behind the removal of PDB files, and we're thinking it's something to do with, uh, you know, security on Minecraft backends. But if it is, this seems kind of stupid because we've asked a lot of uh, hack developers, the client developers, and they don't even use PDB files. They use uh, all client really in stuff. So removing this doesn't really stop hacking on Minecraft Bedrock. The, the most they can do on a Microsoft standpoint is to just code better, simply. But what the big deal is, is if they actually remove PDB files in the future releases, all your servers will be removed. Not, like... We cannot, any, any Minecraft Bedrock server cannot support a player base without PDB file access because we cannot even block 
just basic exploits that Microsoft still hasn't even fixed. They take almost 10 years to fix an exploit that's found, you know, so quickly. But we can be, we on our end can find this issue. We look into the Minecraft's code, we fix the issue, and then boom, our server comes back online. But to wait on Microsoft every single time an issue happens it would be absolutely berserk. We are not waiting for them because it takes so, so long because they are the, almost the slowest in updating Bedrock server stuff. I'm not trying to, uh, you know, be rude to the Minecraft be dedicated server uh, developers, but it is true and we are not, it takes a very long time for you guys to fix an exploit that is found. Nevertheless, what I'm asking you guys to do is to go into the description of this video, click this link and go vote. I've already voted. I've already followed the post. Um, I want you guys to vote and follow the post to show your support and show that you want to see Minecraft Bedrock service alive. You want to have those. So very simply, if you want to leave a comment, that's very beneficial too. I recommend doing that. Um, but what I want you guys to do is to go in the description, vote, follow this post, and to show your feedback. Share this post, share this video, share this post with as many people you know on Minecraft. This is going to, I promise you, this was going to leave a stamp in Minecraft Bedrock's future, and it will really destroy all servers you have ever played on. So... Um, I cannot stress this enough. This is a very important video and an apparent, very important feature coming to Minecraft Bedrock, and you guys are at the very tipping point of Minecraft's future. If you do not work together, if we if we do not work together, nothing will happen. So I'm going to leave this in the description. I'm also going to leave a Discord link in the description, which you guys can join to come chat about this feature. Also, I'll leave a link to the, the BDSX Discord. BDSX is a uh, hooking kind of thing, exactly what gets hindered by PDB files getting removed. I'll leave a link in the description for you to join that. That is if you ever want to run your own server, um, you're going to be using that. Or you can use other things, but I like BDSX the most. Uh, but basically, that is it for this video. And what also is very funny is that a week ago, or actually, sorry, January 10th, that was actually a while ago, we requested actually for complete PDB for Minecraft Bedrock dedicated server, which is funny. Um, it got around 2,000 votes, and we want to see like at least a ton for this one because without PDB file access, almost all servers will be destroyed. Um, but basically, we requested for a complete PDB. Currently, we have like a half of a PDB. We kind of like have just the basics, just like the edge of what we need. But complete PDB will absolutely transform Minecraft Bedrock servers. Instead of them being, you know, uh, the this, this stuff we have now, we could transform and explode the possibilities of development on Minecraft Bedrock. But that is not the premise of this video. The premise of this video is to save Minecraft Bedrock servers because without it, all the players and all the people who love Minecraft because of these servers will all go away. And I promise you, Minecraft will most likely die on Minecraft Better Condition without this. So this is a very big issue, and it will affect Microsoft Marketplace, which is what they really care about. But um, sorry for all the backlash, Microsoft. I, I, this is very stressful because without this, all of our servers will be gone. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope to see you all uh, in the future. Um, I will continue my development stories and uh, support, and I will leave you all in the next video. Peace out.